Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. I'm Kamika Love from thebudgetmom.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about the subject of bare bones budget. More importantly, what I like to call it a temporary budget or a temp budget. And there's a very specific reason why I call it that. Now, you may use a bare bones budget in your life for many different reasons, too specifically. Today I'm not gonna just talk about what a bare bones budget is. I think it's gonna be incredibly helpful to show you how to create this in your life. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're gonna to be creating a bare bones budget. So let's talk about what a bare bones budget is. A bare bones budget is throwing out and getting rid of all extra spending and only spending on the necessities to live. Before we get into when we might use a bare bones budget in our lives, first I wanna talk about why I like to call it a temp budget or a temporary budget. When you say bare bones budget, it kinda of has this negative feeling when you say it out loud. Like you're not as successful as you should be or you're not doing what you should be. Bare bones, it just has this, to me, this negative feeling. Me calling it a temporary budget has to do with mindset. It's about restructuring what this tool is in our lives. It's temporary. We are temporarily using a bare bones budget or a temp budget for one specific season in our life. Knowing that, that situation is going to improve. It's something that we need to do in order to improve our financial situations for later. So, I like to call it a temporary budget because it's just a reminder, a constant reminder, reminder, hey, this isn't my permanent place. This is a season of my life where this is going to be the best tool to help me. So I call it a temp budget. Today, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be calling it a bare bones budget. So let's talk about when you might use this type of tool in your life, this type of budgeting tool. There's two different modes that I like to um, talk about when using this. One is crisis mode and the other one is intense goal mode. Crisis mode is when you either have a pay cut, you lose a job, maybe your partner has lost their job and so you're down to one income. Crisis mode really has to do with a decrease, a substantial decrease in income, which means you have to offset your spending in order to compensate for that drastic change of income and what you have to spend. An intense goal mode is when you are wanting to reach a financial goal, whether it's a savings goal or a debt goal, very quickly, quicker than what you had planned. That could look like maybe in six months you have a, tri a trip, that amazing opportunity and trip with your sister that came up out of the blue and you have six months to save and be financially prepared for that trip. Maybe it is paying off debt. Maybe you're in this intense mindset of wanting to pay off debt and you wanna do that as quickly as possible. That's when you would bring down your spending to the necessities and use a bare bones budget. So crisis mode and intense goal mode is when you would use a tool like this. Another reason I like to call it a temp budget is because it reminds us that this tool is not best used for the long term. It's a tool that can drastically help us in short term. So temporary. Now, I'm gonna be walking you through. I have an amazing free resource in my resource library. It's not just a bare bones budget template. It's an actual worksheet. And I'm gonna show you that worksheet right now. So this is my bare bones budget worksheet inside of my free resource library. I'll put a link to that in the description of my video. The reason having a worksheet is so helpful is because essentially you have three options when you are dealing with your spending or expenses. You can keep that expense, you can cut it, and you can lower it. These are the three decisions you need to make with your current expenses right now. So the first step is listing out everything that you are spending your money on right now. So for me, you're actually looking at my real expenses minus my sinking funds and the things that I knew, and we'll be talking about things that, to cut, but the things that I knew not to include in my bare bones budget. So you have essentially my fixed expenses, my month to month regular recurring bills, 
and then things like food, transportation, pets, property taxes, and home insurance. Now we'll be going into, like I said, the things that cut, keep, and lower. So the first thing you need to do is write that down with their due date and their current bill amount, what you are currently spending on those expenses. Then you need to make a decision to keep, cut, or lower. Now what I did on the worksheet is I assigned highlighter or Sharpie or pen colors to those three different things. If you see it on my worksheet in green, I'm lowering it. If it's in red, I'm cutting it. If it's in blue, I'm keeping it. Here's what you need to do for each expense you're going to choose keep, cut, or lower. Now, my garbage bill, every single month I decided to lower. Currently, I have county gar garbage pickup, but I can, can significantly lower that cost by taking my garbage to the dump myself. And I know that to take my garbage to the dump once every week would cost me probably no more than 12 to $15. We wouldn't even have that much weight in garbage when we took it, so it wouldn't be that much. So $73 is the amount that I would save. My new bill amount would be $12 and my old bill amount would be 85. 85 minus 12 equals the 73. So let's just walk through some of these. Hulu, I would get rid of it. You can see I have it marked here in red to cut out. My new bill amount would be zero, which means I'm saving the total bill, $7. I'm gonna be able to cut out of my budget, which is fantastic. Same with Spotify. I made a personal decision to keep pet insurance. I want to be able to take care of my animals if something were to happen. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm not saving anything in my budget by keeping that. TOD investment. So I have automatic investment contributions happening inside of my budget. I would get rid of them. Any type of automatic savings or investing contributions that are outside of necessities should be cut. Remember, this is only temporary. So I do $100 a month for that investment. If I cut it out, I bring the bill amount down to zero. I'm saving myself $100. Peloton, get rid of it. My 529 investment, get rid of it. Avista Utilities. Now, I decided to keep this. This is one of those things that you could also decide to lower. It is possible to lower your utilities. Why didn't I, why did I just say to keep this? It's because I'm already on comfort level billing with my utilities. That just means that I am getting billed the average that I use throughout the year. So I live in Washington state, the winter months, my utility bill spikes because I'm heating my home more. In the summer, my house stays fairly cool without the AC, so my, low, my bill is lower. So I do an average through um, my yearly usage and it average, averages out every month. So I decided to keep that. Dental insurance, I'm going to keep. Home security, you will have to make personal decisions based on, now is home security a necessity? No, so I decided to cut it. However though, not being able to sleep at night because you don't feel secure in your home, that's another story. So some people might wanna keep this, but I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna save $55 for cutting that bill. I have two different types of budgets for my pets. I have a Chewy subscription that pays for litter, cat food, and dog food. Right now I get my dog because he has significant skin allergies. He's on very expensive food and I get him the best food. So I know I could probably lower that about about 50 bucks. So I, I decided to lower that bill to 135. I know I could probably find a cheaper alternative for his dog food. So you would go through each one of these things. Now let's talk about the things that you would cut. No clothes, no eating out. You can see in my food budget, I typically spend about $450 a month. I know I could lower that to $400 a month. So no eating out. Entertainment and any entertainment subscriptions, you would cut those. Save automatic savings, automatic investment contributions outside of employer match should be cut. So all the things that I cut are here in red. So my dog's treats, cut. My YouTube TV, my automatic investments, Netflix, my home security, Peloton, my Peloton subscription, those are cut. The things that you can lower in your expenses on your bare bones budget would be things like cable. So I don't have cable, I have YouTube TV. 
Now, if it were me and if I was in crisis mode, not an intense goal mode, I would cut cable altogether. Phone, you're not showing phone on my bills because my phone is actually a business expense. So it goes through my business budget. So that's why you're not seeing it on my personal budget here. Insurance you have the possibility to lower insurance. I would call your insurance provider and let them know, hey, can I get my premium lowered? Food is another one to look at to, to lower and also transportation. Now I own my car outright. So when you're seeing transportation on this line, this is strictly for gas for my vehicle. I know I don't spend, I don't need to spend $150 a month on gas. I just don't drive that much. So I, I put to lower that to 130, saving myself $20. The things that are absolutely, I believe, are keeps in your bare bones budget are retirement contributions, up to that employer match. If you have an employer um, sponsored account, now this isn't on my bare bones budget, that, that's actually on my business budget, but if you have an employer sponsored retirement account that offers you a match, if you can, I would contribute up to that employer match. Medical insurance, which you see here, 326, I decided to keep. Minimum credit card or debt payments is also a keep. You don't wanna put yourself in delinquency or be charged um, late fees. So you wanna be current on your debts. Now I am debt free, this is why you're not seeing any type of debts on my um, bare bones budget and I'm also mortgage free. I, don't, I own my house outright. So, but I do have property taxes and home insurance that I put a little bit every month into a savings account to pay for those things yearly. I have to keep that in my bare bones budget because I need to pay that in order to keep my house and to live here. So even though I don't have a mortgage, I still have $634 worth of expenses towards my home that I do need to pay. So keep retirement match, medical insurance, and minimum, any type of minimum debt payment should be included in your bare bones budget. But essentially, in reality, you deem what's a necessity in your life. Of course, food, transportation, housing, insurance, and the things that I had mentioned. Here's the cool thing about this worksheet is before we made any changes, my regular budget, in order to continue the lifestyle I was living and to do, I think the bare minimum of that, I spend $4,183. I actually end up spending more on my budget because in this I'm not including my sinking funds. Sinking funds are just savings goals that I have in place that I contribute to a little bit every single month. So 4183. When we write down our new bill amount, I went from 4183 to 2304. That's nearly in half. I'm saving $1,879. You can see that here. My amount saved from making these changes and getting down to a bare bones budget is $1,879. That's a huge help if you're in crisis mode or if you're in intense goal mode. That's $1,879 you could be throwing towards a financial goal that you're trying to reach very quickly. Or if you're in crisis mode and you're making the decision to put food on the table or pay your mortgage or rent payment. That's why I really like working through the bare bones budget worksheet is because it gives you the chance to think about keep, cut, or lower. Remember, start with writing out all of your expenses that you are currently spending your money on today. That includes your fixed expenses, your variable expenses, savings goals contributions, any debt payments, all of it needs to be written down so you can then go line by line and to make the three decisions, keep, cut, or lower on your bare bones budget worksheet. You can then see how much you are going to save. I always kind of like to do this too, because it kind of motivates me to be like, man, if I can get down to 1879 on a bare bones crisis mode budget, then I have, might have some wiggle room to possibly look at cutting out some fixed expenses or variable expenses that I'm currently paying so I can reach my goals fast enough. It's very motivational to know where you're starting at and what you can save within your current budget that you are working right now. 
So that's how you fill out the bare bones budget worksheet inside my free resource library. I feel like this is a very helpful tool if you just wanna analyze where you are and where you need or could be if you absolutely needed to. One significant difference I wanna talk about between crisis mode and intense savings goal or intense goal mode is with the intense goal mode, you really are able to make the decision to keep some expenses in your life. For example, if I was in crisis mode, meaning I had a substantial loss of income, I would decide to cut out all entertainment in my life. Remember, temporarily. But if I was in intense goal mode, right now I have Hulu, Spotify, and YouTube TV, and Netflix. Yes, I have four. So if I was in crisis mode, I'd get rid of all four. If I was in intense goal mode, I might say, well, my favorite out of all of those is Netflix. So I'm just gonna keep that one and cut out the other three. See the difference? Getting completely rid of all of them versus making that decision and, and honestly going through your trade-offs of how fast do I really wanna hit this goal versus what am I willing to give up right now in my budget and what am I not? That's the difference between those two. So, and I think too, when you, when you are coming to that place and season, that temporary season in your life, knowing the mode that you're, you, that you're in, I think is really obvious. I mean, obviously you have a pay cut, you're gonna wanna do the crisis mode versus just knowing you wanna hit a goal faster. So this is really helpful. If you are asking yourself right now, I need to get my expenses down very quickly, what do I do? start with the bare bones budget or temporary budget worksheet. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. Why I like to call that, okay, am I on? So you're taking out all, come on, come on.